If you thought videos about the dust collector were over, you are mistaken. Here's the last one. I call it the epilogue. I have had the dust collector in use now for a few months and wanted to get the sense of how well it is working. Ideally, I would find a way to measure how much of the grinding dust ends up in the dust collector and how much of it remains in the air and potentially gets into my lungs. You can see here how a beam of sunlight clearly shows the dust suspended in the air. Maybe there is something I can do with that. A beam of strong light? Sounds like a laser to me. So indeed, I set up a 50 millivolt laser with a diffraction pattern that fans it out into a plane. Here you can see how easily it highlights the smoke from the coal forge. It looks quite pretty, so let's watch it for a bit. I plan to try something similar with the dust collector. Before putting it into action, I need to check for air leaks and make sure that I get as much suction out of the blower as possible. As you can see here, the smoke gets sucked into the collection chamber. So that's not good, and I will use some weather stripping to hopefully fix it. The next test is better. The back pressure from the blower is disturbing the smoke, but it's no longer getting sucked in. Alright, with the tuning done, let's see if we can measure the performance of the dust collector by laser. You can see that the laser picks up some clay I sprinkled into the air, but let's see how well it works with grinding dust. Not very well at all. Part of it is that the laser is not strong enough, and the grinding dust is probably low albedo as well. Here's the comparison without running the dust collector. I was hoping to count the frequencies of particles near the laser, but it seems to be about the same. I'm trying it with clay again, with the dust collector on and off. It's really hard to see though. However, I can say that in practice the intake chute ends up collecting a lot of the grinding sparks and there's definitely much less of it to be found on the floor. In terms of using a laser to count the amount of suspended grinding stuff in the air, well, that clearly was not successful, but still worth a try. In the end, I used some compressed air to chase more of the clay that is now all over the place into the dust collector. That created some pretty pictures as well. I don't yet know what the next videos are going to bring, but I'm thinking perhaps of forging an axe. I may also play with recreating some Mandalorian Beskar, which looks so much like pattern welded steel that it's sort of cool. Until then, perhaps check out some of my videos on forging Viking Age swords or spears. They are quite detailed and give you a good sense of all the skill involved in creating them. For now, I'm done with making videos on the dust collector, but it is a new and well-working tool in the shop. Hopefully it will help for everything to stay a little bit cleaner. As always, thanks to everyone on Patreon. If you are interested, you can find updates and pictures there, and you will also get access to these videos a few days early. See you next time.